Hey everybody, uh, Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is closing out your day. You had a great day. Everything is going as planned or as close as can be expected. And if not, remember what I always say. If you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. And I want to talk to you here. Um, I want to be real and I want to be transparent with you. Uh, something I'm going to share with you guys in the morning that will probably blow your mind. Um, and it's definitely taking me through. I'm going through it right now. Uh, but as I'm sitting here going through it and I'm, I'm meeting the challenges, I'm, you know, I've gotten up every day. I went to work every day this week and it, it, it hasn't been easy. I've shown up. I've met my clients. Uh, I gave them what I had and you know, not, I met with my therapist. Uh, obviously, I need it. You know, I mean, you know, the, the people don't realize that. I don't care how well you know something, how good is something, you know something. You're human too, and I learned that a long time ago. So I have someone I've been working with for a long time that I trust. But anyway, I'm sitting here, and as I'm going through this thing, and I'm thinking, you know, this is one of those moments that I talk about. You know, when everything goes wrong. What do you do when everything goes wrong? And, and the first thing I realize is everything hasn't gone wrong. Something major has happened, but everything hasn't gone wrong. There's still a lot of things exactly how you had them. There's still a lot of things that are moving in the direction they're supposed to. Sometimes the thing goes wrong that goes wrong is that to distract you from all the things moving right and to convince you to give up. You got to understand that life tests you, that a great part of this journey is spiritual. And, it, and, and, and when you start to talk about spiritual uh, elements and components, you got to understand that there is a war being waged and there's high energy, low energy, high frequency, low frequency, high vibration, low vibration. There's darkness and light. There are all these different things happening. And you've got to understand that as you move towards something, the resistance you feel in moving toward it is an opposing force. And sometimes the opposing force is light and barely noticeable. And sometimes it's stark, heavy and hard and you feel it. But regardless, it's there. It's never not there. There's never a time where everything is perfect. There's always resistance. Resistance is actually how you get your strength. Sometimes it's the type of strength training spiritually that's endurance. So it's not real heavy, but you, you go through it for a long period of time. Others, it hits you and it knocks you off your block and you got to recalibrate. But once you recalibrate, you get back up and you go and it, it's meant to create uh, an explosive capacity to make major moves and make them happen quickly and to be able to withstand opposing uh, high impact forces and you're going through this process and and as I'm sitting there and I'm going man this is the last thing that I would ever want to deal with and here I am dealing with it and what does my life look like moving forward and I mean some major questions and the thing is I'm still me that hasn't changed I am still the person who loves hard. I'm still the person who gives hard. I'm still the person who fights hard. I'm still the person who goes out and finishes what he started. I'm still the person who wakes up every morning and give, gives God thanks and expresses gratitude. I'm still the person that people are turning to for help and changing their life. I'm still that person. Nothing can rob me of that. And I'm going like, that's it. What do you do when it seems like everything is going wrong? The first thing you do is to remind yourself that everything isn't going wrong. Something major is happening, but it cannot destroy you. It cannot break you. It cannot stop you. It can only slow you down. But your, your responsibility is to stand up, square your shoulders, and push with everything you have. Go in the direction of your destiny. Go in the direction of your purpose. Go in the direction of where you know you need to be the, have the greatest impact in the world. Understand that some, you're going to experience some hurt. You're going to experience some pain. You're going to experience some losses. You're going to experience dark moments. But that's not the ending. That's not where it stops. That's not where the end of the story is written. It's written in how you respond to it. What are you going to do? when things don't go your way? What are you gonna do when it's hard? What are you gonna do 
when it seems like the very people that you're doing it for don't appreciate it. What are you going to do when it seems like the very people you're doing it for are the ones that are causing you the most pain? What are you going to do when uh, you think something is coming through and you get some discouraging and disparaging news that it fell through? What are you going to do when the deal falls through? What are you going to do when the job ends? What are you going to do when what you thought was going to happen doesn't happen or what you thought would never happen happens? You got to answer the bell. I remember back in 2012 having a talk with God, worst time of my life at that time. And my 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 my, my conversation with God wasn't get me out of this. It wasn't I can't take it. You got to do something. It was wake me up. It, that was that was my conversation with God. If you wake me up, I'll answer the bell. Don't let me die until I come out of this. Let me be a testimony to somebody who's going through something and thinks it's too big to come out of, let them watch me do this. Let them watch me do what I know I can do. Just wake me up. That's it. That's all I wanted was to be able to wake up every day. And as I woke up every day, I felt a little better. I felt a little stronger. I saw my progress. I continued to press. I fought setbacks. I fought delays. I fought hardships, but I never quit. And I put it piece by piece in my review mirror. And that's the same thing I'm about to do now. I want you to walk with me. Some of you are going through some very difficult times. Some of you are going through some very hard moments. Some of you are trying to face time face down what you believe to be the hardest thing you've ever gone through but I'm telling you if you're still breathing you're still in the fight I'm telling you that no matter what it looks like on the outside this isn't the end of the story this isn't how the story ends this isn't where the book closes this is the next chapter and you are about to write a chapter that makes everything you've been through make sense you're about to write a chapter that makes all the hurt and the pain make sense I tell people all the time I've been saying this for years when you discover your purpose it will explain your pain Don't let this dark moment shake you to the point that you fold. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare turn around. No surrender, no retreat is the battle cry. As I get ready to get off of here, I want to invite everybody who is looking to change your lives. Everybody who is looking to do something exceptional and strong. Everybody that's looking to turn the corner in their life towards their destiny. And you've been trying and you've been pushing. I want to invite you to join the Epic Realm community of high achievers. It's an organization that I created. The membership is an annual membership. And we do everything from mental health assessments, mental health resources, job. Uh, resources and, 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 and we teach business plans that's even a service that I offer that is a paid service that well we write your business plan but teaching about business plan marketing analysis all this stuff is a part of the membership the uh, mental health service is a part of the membership uh, we do a Q&A session every week we talk about the things we want to accomplish we talk about the things we want to do we talk about all of the things that are in front of us and how we make it happen and we are consistently and constantly engaged i want you to be a part of that join it right now what i am going to do when you join the epic realm community is i'm going to gift you a rapid change breakthrough session a rapid change breakthrough session is a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly and it's regularly $350. But if you come on board and become a member, I'm going to gift that to you. So right off the bat, you win. But I'm, I'm calling you now. Now's the time. Come and let's do some things together. Let's challenge one another. Let's grow together. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. As I always say, I live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. And I'm challenging you to do the same thing. On that note, take it easy.